Hello Scorpio, welcome to Faith Connection 777. Today we are going to do a general reading for you for the remainder of January 2021. Hope you're doing well Scorpio. This is a general reading so not all of these messages are going to resonate with every single person. So take what does, leave what doesn't. And remember to like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. I really appreciate it. It helps get the messages around to those who need it most. So thank you so much. Basically, we're going to pull uh, one of these, well, three of these tea leaf cards or any others that decide to pop out. And then we will get into the tarot. Hope you guys are working on keeping your vibrations high. Stay away from the negativity and the drama during this time if you can. Start meditating if you haven't started that kind of practice. And it doesn't have to be anything formal. Just, um, you know, you can take a bath. You can paint. Um, you can lay down to take a nap and listen to meditation music. That's what I do. <laughs> Um, you can sit on a yoga mat and do it, or you can lay around on the couch and do it. Um, doesn't matter as long as you're clearing your mind and opening your heart for guidance. All right. So let's see what we have for Scorpio. I think we've mixed that up a bit here. All right. Let's see what we have. Scorpio, second half of January, 2021. What do they need to know, Spirit? We have chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. I mean, isn't that life? <laughs> All life are a bunch of events chained together, are they not? But hey, so something's happening here. Possibly even breaking away from something that keep is keeping you in chains. And that's really what I um, interpreted this card to mean when I saw it. Forest, muddled, unclear thinking. Trying to decide if this is you or not. Um, some of you are thinking, well, I don't feel chained to anything. Muddled, unclear thinking. Something here you're not really clear on, which would be... Uh, hello, we just talked about meditation. That is the easiest way to come out of this unclear vibe you have. Okay, carrot. All right opportunity or windfall coming your way here that's really amazing to see um something is going to come your way scorpio you've been working towards um figuring out how to handle a situation there you also you know i will read this card for what it is in that there are a chain of events happening that are you're just kind of like wow this is kind of bizarre um, knowing that they all are working interconnected with one another, it feels kind of um, Twilight Zone-ish for you. As you see things start to piece together, you'll start to notice that, you know, money is arriving at the right nick of time. And then, you know, um, you have a thought to check your email. And as soon as you do, there's a, a message about a job that you've been trying to get. Okay. Okay. We have a nine of wands energy here. A lot of you are moving forward in kind of a guarded heart type of energy where you're a little bit leery. There's a little bit of fear here. It's not completely, you're not completely closed off for the possibilities, but you are very guarded at this time for whatever reason. I think that you're just trying to protect yourself in some way. We have the hanged man energy here. Yep, with the muddled and unclear thinking, you don't know what to do next, okay? Something here has you up in arms about what to do, okay? Whether this is a relationship, whether this is um, whether or not to move, whether or not to um, get back with someone who's been pulling at you, um, whether or not to take a job or quit the job you have or something of that nature. You really just don't know how to what to do. Um, but I feel Spirit telling you to... Um, wait so that the energies can balance and align with each other. <laughs> Sometimes it takes a little bit of time and then you'll start moving forward again. But you do feel stuck, Scorpio. You feel stuck about something, okay? Let's see what else I can get for you here. What else for Scorpio Spirit? 
We have the Ten of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. How amazing that this landed under this opportunity or windfall. You have a Ten of Pentacles energy here. Look at all that money stacked up. Something here is going to be very abundant for you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. So a lot of you are presented with options and you don't know what option to take, okay? Um, I feel like this is an energy of somebody coming at you and you're not sure whether or not you want to take their offer. Feeling very stuck. Ooh. Some of you may even be getting a job offer that is going to require that you move out of state. And so you're trying to decide whether or not you want to do that. Because if you do it, we'll leave this person behind that you've been connected with and you don't know whether or not that's a good idea. I think that right you're not you're not aware of what's coming towards you right here with this opportunity or this windfall situation. You're not seeing it and you're over here in your hanged man energy going um yeah, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do now? There might be a little bit of stress related to that. Like, look at the confused look on this person's face in the card. She's just kind of like, there's too many options. I don't know which one to take. And that's what the energy, the primary energy here is. Tell me about this Nine of Wands spirit. We have the Three of Pentacles. You may have a, a, um, multiple people that you're... If you are in a dating situation, you're considering several different people. We have a page of pentacles energy here, and this has to do possibly with a child, possibly an earth sign child, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You may have a child with this person. Um, this person also may have, like, was unfaithful to you in the past, or it's possible you were unfaithful to them in the past. So there's a little bit of hesitancy here to figure out whether or not you want to go back with this person. Um, if this is a... If this is your person wanting to reconcile, tell me more, Spirit. Or if you're wanting to go open your heart for love again, I think that you're very reluctant to want to do that right now because of this pain that you've suffered. Ace of Swords. Okay, so there's going to be a moment of clarity come towards you, Scorpio, that's going to set you on the path that you... It's going to give you some direction here. You're not just going to be flying by the seat of your pants and going, okay, I know... There's a plan, like, there's a better plan for my life. You're right. There is a timeline for your life that um, is optimal for you. You're just waiting for what, some kind of sign. Tell me more, Spirit. Four of Cups. So there is some kind of disappointment that some of you are feeling right now, okay? And what I want to tell you is, is that you need to try, and I keep saying this to everyone I come across lately, you need to raise your vibration, okay? Because this new, this energy coming in with this 10 of pentacles here and this windfall and this opportunity will come in a lot easier and faster if you will get out of this disappointing kind of energy here, okay? Um, something didn't work out that you, um, is holding you back here from getting the answers you need. Um, you're not going to, you're, you're, the answer is going to come to you much easier if you allow it and let go of whatever this is that's disappointing you, okay? Tell me more, spirit. Yeah, see this guy sitting here trying to think through what to do to get yourself out of this disappointment. And even the people that are around you feel your disappointment and it, it's making them sad as well. So just be wary, you know, we're all, you know, um, coming into contact with people and there's a lot of stress and anxiety going on right now in the collective. And I think that just try to put that aside to, you know, put on a happy face for your kids, you know, um, focus on the kids here as well. Tell me more spirit. Okay, but let's get back into this Ten of Pentacles situation because this is more what we want to talk about, okay? Let's stop talking about the disappointment, shall we? Let's start talking about what's amazing about this reading so far, okay? <laughs> you have a couple of options, okay? Possibly in love or and or job, okay? And 
Just don't sit in that energy for too long or you'll end up missing the boat here. Okay, you got to be alert and awake and have your heart open because it's coming. Okay, so Ten of Pentacles Spirit. Oh, we have the Devil card coming here. This could be a Capricorn that you're connecting with. Okay, um, this Ten of Pentacles and this Capricorn energy here or this person who may have been toxic in your past as well is coming forward here. Tell me more, Spirit. Ace of Pentacles, okay? So, um, <laughs> this is a message for somebody here. Okay, so the Ace of Pentacles, this is you making some kind of abundance here coming up here, okay? You're going to get some kind of a promotion or a raise or a job offer or something is going to come forward here. You're going to sell something or um, a pocket of money is coming your way, okay? Um, it's possible that you have a toxic energy of this person from your past wanting to get back with you because you have this new um pot of gold here <laughs> they uh they want a piece of your pie here page of wands okay you're definitely in a much lighter happier energy as we move through the rest of january um so be aware of that as you're moving through that there there is a lighter happier situation coming for you just have to you know, with this hangman energy you're feeling stuck the fool card yep new beginning brand new beginning for you here and that means a new job a new refresh to your relationship etc um, but with the seven of cups being here in terms of your overall energy with your options just you ha keep your eyes open ears open for what those options are and um, make make decisions best made on your okay i can't even talk use your best judgment before making any decisions okay that's what i wanted to say um use your best judgment scorpio because uh this person from your past here they they want to they want to get your hand their hands in what you got okay um just know that and just make sure that they're coming at you right is what I have to say, okay? Tell me more, spirit. We have the Empress, okay? So somebody does have a divine feminine energy here in this connection. This is like a twin flame energy here. Uh, divine feminine. This person could be a divine feminine, your counterpart, or this is you, Scorpio, in your divine feminine energy. And uh, with, with you, Scorpio, being in this energy, you're very abundant. You're birthing a new life for yourself here with the Fool card. Um, something that's going to be very, very abundant, and it's you and you alone doing this because of the Ace of Pentacles here. This is a brand new, you know, the Ace is the start of the card deck. And so with this Ace being here, the full card being here, the Empress being here, um, something very abundant uh, you're, you're creating for yourself, and that is really amazing to see, okay? This is a really amazing reading, Scorpio. Um, try those meditations like I talked about when you feel like you don't have any answers. Just take it one day at a time. Be patient. And um, I'm excited to hear about this windfall you have coming. Please feel free to comment. I'd love to read your comments. So I'd really like to know what this is all about. And guys, take care. I will see you in the next one, all right?